right now on ABC 15 Arizona at 630. Knowing rules of the road no matter how many wheels you're on. It's the motorcyclist looking out for the car, the car looking out for the motorcyclist. There are more than 5 million licensed drivers in Arizona, and every year more of them make the choice to ride a motorcycle. But that doesn't mean they have the proper training. In this Operation Safe Roads report, Dan Spindle talked to one organization that wants to make every driver safer, especially those on two wheels. There's no better way to experience Arizona than out on the open road on a motorcycle, if you ask Mark Weiss. There is so much you miss when you're inside a car. His curiosity about bikes as a teen turned into a calling. He now manages Harley Davidson's Desert Wind Riding Academy in Mesa, and he's seen it all. Every walk of life, every profession, um, across the spectrum, age groups. While there may not be a stereotypical easy rider biker in 2019, there is a disturbing, deadly trend. In 2017, 161 people were killed in motorcycle crashes in our state. And there's one consistent theme. Too much speed is really, really, really common. And that's a choice that we make as riders. The most recent ADOT data show nearly a quarter of all motorcycle riders who crashed were just going too fast. That's troubling when you consider the latest Crash Facts report that shows a steady increase in motorcycle registrations, 15% higher, in fact, in 2017 than four years before. There's no denying the ever-increasing popularity of motorcycles here in Arizona. What might shock you, though, is at least a third of those who get trained here have never ridden a motorcycle before. Mick Dane is executive director of Arizona Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Foundation, or AMSAF, a nonprofit educating everyone on how to share the road. It's the motorcyclist looking out for the car, the car looking out for the motorcyclist. For drivers and riders to coexist safely, Mick told me training is vital, but it isn't cheap. We want to financially help people get into training because the individual's looking at a budget, and where does safety fall? And a lot of times, unfortunately, safety falls at the bottom of the pile. The typical tuition for a 20-hour course varies by school, but may run you a few hundred dollars. Mick's mission is to cut that bill dramatically, to ultimately reduce the number of crashes and deaths dramatically through education. You can learn more about their scholarships at amsaf.org. For Operation Safe Roads, I'm Dan Spindle, ABC 15, Arizona.